don't miss any content don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell hey guys welcome back to the channel day eight of the olympic games the saw Ghanaians three of them take center stage it started with christian amwa a 96 kilogram weight lifter also it was followed by suleiman utete who had progressed from the round of 32 edging it 3-2 there and meeting cuban yes yes money vechia benjamin zameti was next in the heat seven of the men's 100 meter heat it was a bad day at the office for the ghana olympics team as three contestants all got eliminated following disappointments from yesterday in nadia eke and yunelis techi to talk about what happened today at the olympics for ghana and uh, how our athletes uh, performed it was not a good day at the office uh, but there is a lot to be positive about heading into future competitions we also hear from nadia eke uh, she has officially retired from the game of athletics yes she has retired and nadia eke is looking at her future out of athletics we also hear from swimmer who was really good in his heat he won his heat that is abiku jackson as usual subscribe if you have not and click on the notification bell to get more updates so the eight of the olympics saw Ghanaians, three of them take center stage following the disappointment yesterday nadia Eke and yunelis techi which meant had brought up olympians that had been eliminated to fight uh, we look forward to the 100 meter race uh, the weight lifting and also the boxing which we have progressed from from the round of 32 win on monday well it wasn't to be in all cases we'll start from the weight lifting uh, which uh, ghanian christian Mamua took part in at 2 50 a.m gmt this morning uh, he was unable to finish in the top three to qualify to the next round he finished fourth another day another exit for team ghana at the olympics as christian amwa missed out on a chance to win an olympic medal after finishing fourth in the men's 96 kilogram in weightlifting event and now the 22 year old cleared the first round successfully making the 140 snatch and 165 clean and check the second round proved a daunting task for him after clearing the 145 snatch and 170 clean and jack in the second attempt. This handed him a total of 315 and a position above Palestinian Hamada Mohammed and well behind Greece Aiko Vidis Theodoros 338, uh, Creole, a refugee Olympian with 350 and Cuba size Vera of lead of with 359. Amwa becomes the sixth Ghanaian to exit the games following earlier eliminations of boxer as Shak Shaku Samir, swimmer Abeku Jackson, United you know, Techi, triple jumper Nadia Eke, and judoka Kojo Anane. Amwa, who ranked fourth in the Commonwealth Games list of categories 96 kg athlete, was hoping to make his mark in his second Olympic Games. A Christian grabbed three gold medals in Africa Weightlifting Junior Comp Championships in Uganda, three bronze medals in the African Games in Morocco, and two bronze medals in Weightlifting Comp Championships in Egypt. So Christian Amwa, unfortunately there, he has missed out on qualification and possibly a medal place. He has missed out on a medal place. Commiserations to him, hopefully he comes back stronger. Um, Ghana today another great day at the office also in the boxing uh, Suleiman Techi emphatically beating here after he, he edged that round of 32 win on Monday Ghana team captain Suleiman Techi also was eliminated in the ongoing Tokyo Olympic Games he was floored twice and stood no chance right from the start of the round of 16 fight quite disappointing the black bomber skipper was underwhelming and lost all three rounds to opponent vechia who put up a determined fight to secure the win the 28 year old Ghanaian from the scratch failed uh, to cope with the pace of the bout and was caught a few times in the face tete struggled even more in the second round failing to put up a fight against the cuban a match a better final bout was needed but that too did not go as planned 
asked the two-time Ghanaian Olympian about out of the flyweight division in the Olympic Games. The next Ghanaian boxer to take action will be Samuel Techi against Avia Saiba of Colombia on Sunday, August 1st at 2.48 GMT in the morning we will have that fight. So Tamo Techi, after the elimination of Suleiman Utete, is the only boxer left uh, waving the flag of Ghana High. Finally, it was the time of uh, Azameti Benjamin. And uh, he was also someone we looked uh, to uh, to see if we could make us proud. But Benjamin Azameti's race was quite an interesting one. He had a really slow start. And I think it was because of what happened in the previous heat. Uh, there were disqualifications of players because of false starts. And in order to avoid that, Azameti tended to start really slowly. He was the last to get off his mark after the gun had been shot and everyone was asked to go. All because he did not want to get the false start elimination which had happened in the previous, uh, I think, two of the heats that came before his own and that cost him a lot he finished fourth and i am just thinking about how he would have done should he have started earlier in one time at least he misses out after a fourth place a finish he did well benjamin azameti the Ghanaian sprinter will also take part in the 4 by 100 meter relay race uh, which will take place on the 5th of August. A 23-year-old, however, clocked 10.13 seconds and finished fourth in a race which was won by Rohan Browning of Australia uh, with Johan Blake of Jamaica finishing second. His time of 10.13 was not good enough to qualify as one of the fastest losers after missing out on automatic uh, qualification. As Ameti, who broke Leo Miles Mills' long standing Ghanaian record of 100 meters and booked a place at this year's Olympic Games in Tokyo with a smashing 9.97 seconds, his Olympic dreams has come to an end. Not entirely, since he has a chance in the other 4x100 meter race. A race from the former Presec and University of Ghana student first ever at the Olympics and he will be hoping to make amends when he joins the 4x100 team. The next Ghanaian to take track will be Joseph Paul Amwa in the 200 meter dash on Tuesday, August 3rd at 2.05 GMT. Okay Ben, so um, you just finished the heat of the 100 meters, um, do you mind giving us a recap of what you think about the race? Um, I think, uh... I went according to my race plan, but I think um, I had a poor reaction. And, you know, I had to come back from the race. I didn't make the race easy for me, you know. And so I had to come back from the race, um, come back from behind, catch up, and then you know, I couldn't, I couldn't keep my form. I think um, that was one of the mistakes. I couldn't keep my form, and everything. you know, I've, uh, ever since I started running this season, I've never really run uh, alongside you know this this great athlete. So I feel it, it was one of them, you know. There was. Um, nervousness and all that but I think uh, together it's, it's, it's good I mean it's a good experience you know I can I, I think I, I'm gonna get back stronger but you know um, it just it just happened that I couldn't I couldn't qualify to the next round and uh, I know how disappointed some people are but you know I'm, I'm happy I was able to come out here and I was able to run and then come out healthy so uh, that's a good thing we have the relay next I want to focus on that I mean uh, after I leave here everything is behind me um, Mentally, I'm there. I think I'm ready to run the relay too. Yeah. Okay. So, um, as you mentioned, the reaction was a little on the slow side. I think it was the slowest within the the, the group. Um, but how did you manage to close in so quickly? Uh, uh, do you care to talk a little bit about that? Um, yeah. So I realized I had a very bad reaction. Um, I was able to accelerate better. That is how come I was able to you know keep up with them. But right after I got closer to them. My form also became very bad, so I think it's something that I have to work on, like to be able to keep my form when I'm closer to people. What I've been running just by myself the whole year, and I think um, it's this happened to be one of the problems that I faced. That I got tense when I was in, in the middle of people, so um, I'll work on that, and, and I hope to come back and get better. 
round up of what happened today in the Olympics as far as Ghanaians are concerned a disappointment for Benjamin Azameti, Suleiman Utete and Christian Amwa in weightlifting. We'll have a listen to the black bearer of the Ghana Olympics team, Nadia Eke, who announced her retirement and talked about her future after the disappointment yesterday in the Olympic Games. So that's a wrap of my Olympic journey, my athletic career, and honestly, I said I was going to go out there and give it my all gave it my all everything I had left um, for the sport I gave it what I had um, I believe I'm the only triple jump triple jumper who's Ivy League triple jumper who's made it to the Olympics in the history of the Ivy League so I think my parents are proud of that about that but nonetheless I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support and the love and you know everything I am so overwhelmed with gratitude um for everyone that's like sending me messages and all this stuff um it's been a great run but my ankle today was just like no it's over <laughs> we should have been done two years ago but thank you guys so much yeah so you hear from nadia eke there quite unfortunate that she's ending her career an ivy league student who has made it to the olympics her parents are proud of her we are proud of her commiserations to her Unfortunately, she will not come back. Uh, she has hanged her boots and uh, we wish her all the very best moving forward. Also, Abeku Jackson uh, spoke to the Ghana Olympics Committee media after his uh, great performance but disappointment. He looks to come back stronger next time out in the Olympics. Let's have a listen to him on what he had to say. I said to represent my country, Ghana, in the 100 meters fly. Coming first in P2 was a wonderful moment. I would like to thank Pina Development Centre for training me throughout the period. I also like to thank my coach back in Ghana who also helped me and also my coach here could give you. I also like to thank him and thank every other person that put effort into this. And also the Ghana Senior Association and the Ghana Olympic Committee. I want to say a big thank you to everyone. I learned something from 2016. I sent it to 20. 21 and I'm looking forward to representing Ghana in 2024. That's my main target. That's the aim I set for myself and I wish to make the country proud. So he had from the youngster there, Abigu Jackson, on his uh, plans uh, coming back for the next Olympics. Yeah, my thoughts on everything today is that we shouldn't, this just shows us that uh, doing well in the Olympics is not by chance, it's by practice, practice, practice. And when we wait, to an olympics game before we start to engage our athletes this is how things will end the other athletes they are competing with have better facilities train almost every day compete in college competitions they hone the talents from the secondary school level push them to the college level hone them have college games they are always being engaged the best way to be a great athlete great footballer great at what you do is to be consistent and if we wait till the last minute before engaging them and, and helping them or sponsoring them or pushing them this is how things will always be it is not magic it is practice and consistency and that's the only way we can move forward and that is how i end today disappointment in the olympic games but we move on hope we learn something hope we don't wait till the last minute to engage athletes I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. Do you have hope for the 200 meter race and the 4x100 meter race? Later this morning or tomorrow morning, uh, we'll have our feet as someone teach the boxer, the only boxer left, take center stage and a possible place in the semi finals. Enjoy the day. Have a great weekend.